In this video, you will learn how to connect surface bodies using mesh connection in ANSYS Mechanical to connect a model that isn't geometrically connected. Mesh connections help connect a model without contact. They are more flexible than node merge in that they do not require the nodes to be relatively close to one another. Mesh connection only applies to surface models currently. Node merge applies to all types of models. First, let's review the model. Here, I have a flat list of geometry parts, surfaces and welds, which you can see as I click through them. Notice the small weld surfaces, which can be seen when I hide all the bodies with the surface prefix. Now if I go to Edge Coloring and select By Connection, I can see a number of red edges. This indicates that the edges in my geometry are not connected. So let's go about connecting these bodies. I don't want to use contact, so I'll use mesh connection. First, I want to get a mesh, so I'll select the mesh node. I want to turn off the featuring here. I want to set the size function to fixed because I want a uniform mesh. Now I need to determine minimum and maximum sizes for meshing, so I'll zoom in and determine the length of this edge. Knowing the size of an edge will help me to understand the size of topology in the model, which will help me to choose an element size for meshing. I'll set the values to 30 and 30 and see what kind of mesh this generates. Now I'll generate the mesh. Because these parts are independent, I'll get the advantage of parallel meshing. All 34 parts are now meshing with a nice even mesh pattern, and the bodies are still unconnected. Now let's connect the bodies. I'll add a mesh edit folder by adding a mesh connection group. I could define mesh connection manually, but it's much easier to connect the model using automated connections. When using automated connections, it can be useful to adjust certain properties, such as search tolerance. I'll specify a search tolerance value of 5 mm and leave the other values default, and then I'll detect connections. I can see that 34 connections were detected. Each connection can be manually configured, but I simply want to connect the mesh. When I connect the mesh, I can turn on the mesh view and observe all the areas where the mesh is now connected. If I take a look at the geometry, I can see the areas where the geometry is now connected and that the pattern of elements is still roughly maintained. That concludes this demonstration of mesh connection in Mechanical.